Come our next contestant, Manoj Wasadavan. We can fix it. We can fix it, Manoj Wasadavan. I was 24 years old, living in India. I had a nice job, nice car, nice hair. <laughs> Still no girlfriend like Neha. <laughs> Every relationship started with great expectations and ended in great Depression. Have you had problems in your relationships? How did you fix it? Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen, when I was 24, I was still waiting for Cupid to shoot the arrow and find me the perfect partner. Guess what? It seems Cupid doesn't live in India. Soon I went to the one woman I trust, my mama. There she was, sitting on the floor, doing yoga. Mama, I want a wife. She said, no problem, we can fix it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear what my mama said? She said, we can. That's right. My mother was offering to find a bride for me. She immediately picked up the phone, started calling all her friends, looking for potential brides. Soon arrangements were made for my meeting with the first prospect. There she was. Wow! She looked like a movie star from Bollywood. She looked at me like I was George Clooney. Didn't I say I have nice hair? <laughs> I imagined spending the rest of my life holding her hand, listening to music, and doing hot yoga. <laughs> Cupid has shot the arrow, and we fell in love. Four weeks later, on July the 4th, we got married. On America's Independence Day, I lost my independence. <laughs> only after our marriage, I realized she was not only smart, she was also very hot tempered. <laughs> Just like me, we had problems. She liked outdoors, I liked indoors. She loved Swimming, I feared drowning. <laughs> she liked cooking. I like to tell her how I miss my mama's cooking. <laughs> we had problems after problems. I used logic. I used emotion. I even showed her a role model. Why can't you just be perfect like me. <laughs> Within six months, we grew apart. There was no holding of hands, no music, no yoga. Looking for solutions, I read the top 20 books on relationships. Guess what? They don't work. <laughs> then I asked my friend Jay. He just had his divorce. Jay said, man, life is short. Don't suffer. Separate. No, Jay, I just want to fix it. Exactly. My lawyer will fix it. 
I called my mama. <laughs> Guess what she said? We can? Next day, she spoke to both of us. Here is what she said. You will never find a partner who's 100% perfect. It doesn't matter whether you pick your partner or someone else picks for you. Most people think that they fall in love because of Cupid's arrow. But in reality, what keeps you in love is Cupid's bow and string. You see, the bow and the string have a great partnership. The more the string pulls back, the more the bow bends. Ego is what pulls the string. Still, the mighty bow bends because it cares for the partner. If she pulls, you bend. If you pull, she bends. If both of you decide to pull less and bend more, the partnership survives. That's the only way you can fix any relationship. When I look back to my strained relationships and lost friendships, I understood mama's wisdom. The core problem was why unwillingness to bend more, to adjust, to adapt, to accept, to pull less. Since that day, I changed my ways. When she wanted to go out, I joined her. When she wanted to swim, I joined her at the shallow end. <laughs> when I became nice, she became nicer. Soon, she started cooking better than mama. Last month, my wife, Sindhu, and I celebrated our anniversary for the 17th time with our two children. Yes, that's the same wife. <laughs> my dear friends, what do you think? Are we now perfect partners? No. Do we still fight? Yes. The difference is that now, even when we fight, we are still holding hands. My dear friends, if you have any problem in any relationship, try to pull less and bend more. If you do, I'm sure we can. Contest chair. Please welcome our.